Welcome to the latest edition of ABBA magazine. This week and Warner caused a major upset with their win against Partizan Alexander Nikolic Hall. In the derby between two Croatian sides, Cedevita managed to win against Zadar after a dramatic finish. Meanwhile, Budućnost finished the round with a resounding triumph over Igor Kea. The league champions Crvena Zvezda continued their good streak with, with winning Slemska Mitrovica, while Sibona defeated Olympia at the buzzer. And as usual, we wrap things up with the top 5 plays of the round. Andrej Stavanovic is no longer a Partizan player. The young shooting guard joined the club at the beginning of the season and played the eight double league games with an average of 3.4 points per game. The club and Stavanovic terminated the contract with an amazable way. Cleveland Melvin and Sibona have parted ways, which was announced after their triumph in Ljubljana. The American player played 13 games in Alba League with an average of 10.4 points and 5.2 rebounds per game. After having played only six games, Nikola Pavlicevic has left Swapia and MZT. On their official website, the club explained that they decided to terminate the player contract after a game with FNP when he got in an alteration with fraction of the club supporters. Pavlicevic scored an average of nearly 9 points and 4 assists per game. Crvena Zvezda continued their winning streak to 8 games in Slemska Mitrovica and kept their grasp on the top position. The champions defeated Mega Bemex 1985. The game played on Pinky Hall and had a record number of fans in the stands, but what made the biggest impact on the final score were 62,077 consequent free throws. The red and white team had 80% conversion rate, but the home team had less than 60%. Dušan Lepijević's team was too quick to form 12-point gap and they kept in the lead during the most of the game. The Milovic boys were sure to cause trouble with offensive rebounds, but they were mostly unable to convert their domination in the air into points. Mega responded with an excellent series of 16 points in less than 3 minutes, with only 2 points to their opponent. To the delight of the numerous fans, the home team ended the first quarter in the lead. However, they were unable to keep Zvezda away. The champions reduced the deficit to 7 points in 7 minutes and they took the lead. The game continued in the same fashion after the break. The Euroleague team from Belgrade started the third quarter with 9 unanswered points, which led the team to the biggest lead in the game, 22 points. It looked like the champions would get some easy points, but then Mega returned into the game. They dramatically reduced the deficit with 21 points to Zvezda 4, which led us to thrilling finish. Mega played good during the last period, but the experience Feldin and Rochester wouldn't let their team lead to drop under four points. Zvezda knew how to deal with the young opponent and reach another victory. Feldin was once again on the top scorer of the game with 24 points. He scored a single three-pointer, 11 free throws, three rebounds, assists and turnovers. Rochester finished the game with 15 points and eight assists. Bielica and Dante scored 12 points each, while Ennis finally reached double digits for his new club with 10 points. Mega best player was Aleksandar Lazic with 17 points and 15 turnovers. Mushidi, Sinovec and Vudic finished the game with 11 points each.
during the first period of the game played in Pioneer Hall, Monar scored no more than seven points. At the beginning of the second quarter, Partizan had 21-point lead and everything pointed to a routine victory for Nena Chanak's team. However, the second part of the game was a pure drama, with a couple of excellent plays at the very end. Moran managed to catch up with their opponents at the beginning of the third quarter. The guests finished the first half with only 3 out of 13 three-pointers, but their luck turned in the second half when they scored 10 long-distance shots. Rally Ross, Lukovic, Michovic and Nidam were able to parry each partisan attempt to take over. During the final two minutes, Andrej was excellent with three three-pointers. But the star of the show was Nidam, who scored from nine meters. Lukovic played the best game of the season with 26 points and eight rebounds. Ross scored 21 points, while Nidam finished the game with five three-pointers. Partizan was defeated in spite of the fact that their field goal conversion rate was above 50%. That their three-pointer rate was above 40, and they missed only one free throw. Nena Chanak team led 91 points in the three quarters, and it was led to the downfall of the seventh defeat in the season. And Partizan are one of the five teams with the same score of six wins and seven defeats. Cedevita and Zadar have treated us to probably best game of the Abba League season. Cedevita started the game with 11-2 lead, but the, at the end of the third quarter, the team from Zadar had a 10-point lead. However, not one of the opponents could hold on the lead for longer than two minutes. The teams were quite evenly matched and were treated to some beautiful actions. Cedevita scored 16 three-pointers and with the final effort managed to take the win at the buzzer. Cherry was one who brought home team back at the game in the third quarter. Zadar was led by Bostik and Novos, who wouldn't give up. After Bozic failed to score, the game went into the overtime. Zadar could feel the victory at the tip of the, the fingers, but Bostik threw everything away when he made a foul at the three-pointer. The young general Musa was the best in the home team. When he scored three out of four, three throws and a three-pointer immediately after that, Zadavir looked good to win. However, everything suddenly changed. Musa Cherry made two fouls in a row, Bashi scored from 10 meter distance, and finally Luka Božić calmly scores to return Zadar in the one-point lead. Zdouts asked for timeout, and after that the ball went to Roko Lenjukic, who was the worst in the team up to the point. Ukic went past Bašić and scored for Cedevic, the 201. Jena Musa was the best player in the winning team with 18 points and a dramatic finish. Josh Boss was excellent for Zadar with 28 points. In a dramatic finish, Sibona defeated Olympia 80-78 in Sports Center Tivoli. This was their second win in a row, and they are now one of the teams who have the same score 6-7. The guests from Zagreb played without Branislav Ratkovica, who broke his nose while training. The American point guard, Tello Better, is back in Olympia roster. The home team started the game in a higher note. They kept their opponent at bay with aggressive defense. Luka Žoric was the one who managed to wake up his team and bring up to the fighting speed. At the end of the first half, the guests took the lead with Marin Rožić's three-pointer, but hoard even it to score for Olympia. Thanks to excellent distance shots, Ante Nazar team took control of the game during the second period. They finished the first half in the lead 38-35. Sibona continued the game in the same rhythm, and after five unanswered points, they had eight-point lead. And then Gaspar Okun Min opened fire and shot six three-pointers for a seven-point lead. What a comeback before the start of the final quarter. Cibona managed to take back the control of the game with three-pointers by Tomas and Novacic. Cibona's young point guard Uljarevic showed the class of the player he is with brave and bold actions. Olympia was in the lead 76-75 when Luka Jori scored and granted the free throw. Battle was won who got revenge for his team and even the score 78-78. Sibona had the attack. Uljarevic missed a two-point, but Marko Tomas corrected the mistake with the marvelous play. He scored at the buzzer at the light of the team, mates and fans. Tomas and Sibona's best pair with 17 points. Joris scored a double-double with 15 points and 16 rebounds. 
Spahn was Olympia, West player with five three-pointers and seven points. Battle and Morgan scored 14 points each. In the first game of the 13th round, FNP defeated MZT in Skopje 72-67. Bojan Trakovski started the game of brilliantly with five big points, but he had to return to the bench after two fouls. The first quarter was littered with fouls and free throws on both sides, but during the first six or seven minutes, FNP was looking better and better. After Adano scored a three-pointer, the guests took the lead 18-13, but MZT reduced the difference to 1918 by the end of the quarter. At the beginning of the second quarter, the home team scored six unanswered points. FNP even the scores with Trovi's second three pointer, but after that, the home team scored another series of unanswered points thanks to Trakovsky and Mavro. MZT was on the lead 33 26 when home team coach Jerk Lukaj got a foul. FNP reduced the difference to only four points thanks to Randano free throws. Mavro and Trajkovski continuing to score, and MZT went on the break with a 9-point lead, 39-30. When the second half started, MZT furthered the lead to 43-33. FNP responded with free throws, and the free still Lazarevic and Uskokovic. They scored 10 unanswered points, and even the score. After 30 minutes, the score was 52-49. Midway through to the final quarter, MZT once again took the 10-point lead, 66-56. However, in the five minutes that ensued, he scored only one more point. Two and a half minutes before the end, Lazarevic and Randanov scored a three-point each for 66-63. But the most important points were scored by the young player Alex Uskokovic with the distant shots for 69-66. With excellent free throws at the very end of the game, the team from Železnik got the sixth win of the season. Best players in the defeated team were Mavra with 20 points, Trankovski with 14 and Stojanovski with 13 points. For the winning team, Chovic scored 16 points and Ardano 14, while Lazarevic ended the game with 13 points, 8 rebounds and 4 assists. Budućnost reached in a resulting victory in Morača against the Gokea. Aleksandar Džikic's team won 81-59. Guests didn't put up a fight, they didn't once take the lead. Budućnost could once again count on Suha Šehović, who had missed three games due to injury. Budućnost started the game with 9-3 lead, but the Gokea reduced the lead to 11-10, with three pointers by Ljubičić and Lee. After that, the home team scored 10 points to Gokea's two, and finished the first quarter in the lead 19-12. At the beginning of the second period, Ivanovic and Suha Šehović scored three pointers to take Budućnost to a 16-point lead, 32-16. Godi scored five points in a row for 44-22. After Lee scored the three-pointer, the half-time score was 44-29. Third quarter started slow. After five minutes, the score was 87 for Budućnost, and after 30 minutes, the score was 60-42. Six minutes before the end, Popovic led the team to the biggest lead, 22 points, 71-49. Nikolic was the last one to score in this game, more than a minute before the end. Lee was Igokea's best player with 15 points, 8 rebounds and 4 assists. Ljubicic scored 14 points and 6 rebounds. Best player in the winning team was Suha Šehović. He scored 18 points without a single missed shot. Gordić finished the game with 16 points and 4 rebounds and assists. Popovic was excellent with 12 points, 
Five rebounds and four assists. The MVP of the 13th route is Uroš Luković. Monar Center played one of the best career games against his former team Partizan. Luković scored 26 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists and 1 block. Bartolas player got an the score of 40 by spending only 20 minutes on the court. Thank you for watching another edition of ABBA magazine. See you again next week when we focus on 14th round. Happy holidays!